Well, Christmas is officially over. Good morning, everyone. Well, Christmas is over, but normally Lori would keep the Christmas ornaments up until probably towards the end of January. We are actually puppy sitting my daughter's husky Miko at the end of this week, so Lori decided instead of having the tree get destroyed, that we take it down. We still have five trees up. She says she's gonna slowly take them down this week. So before I get cranking on some snake work, before I have to make a quick travel out of town, to, you'll see later in the vlog, I gotta ask you two things. One is, well, one is, when do you guys take your Christmas ornaments down? I mean, again, Lori usually leave them up till January, maybe even sometimes the beginning of February. This year we're taking them down, and I'll be honest, I'm a little bummed out about it. I don't know why. I'm like, oh, those Christmas. So tell me what the date you guys take your Christmas tree down is. To do me a favor, not only hit that like button down before we get some likes on this video, but also remember to hit the notification so you guys can know when I upload my vlog every day, which normally is nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time every single day, seven days a week. Regardless, I've got some work to do. I gotta get a whole bunch done really quick because I've gotta travel a couple hours today and I'll tell you guys why in a few. So guys, I have an idea that I can almost guarantee it has never been done on YouTube before. So keep an eye on RJ for me. I'll be right back. <laughs> So here it is guys. Has anyone ever skateboarded while holding a five foot alligator on YouTube? I think not, but I'm about to do it. I am going to spend a little time with RJ. I think it's really important I continue to work with him as much as I can. He's, uh, he's really a great animal and I want to continue to to kind of forge that relationship so that he can, as he grows, hey listen, he's gonna get a lot bigger. So as he grows, I'm gonna have to make sure that he's super tanky. Good morning. The other thing is I just let him kind of cruise around sometimes, especially when I'm here alone, and he just loves to be out and about. Right, bud? Right, bud? <laughs> he's got that that vicious roar but trust me he's just a puppy dog so I'll let him mess around for a little bit come back in a few after he's kind of played around for a little while then I'll have some fun with him and continue to bond with him okay. he certainly used to be a lot easier to play with when he was smaller but He's getting pretty big now. You may not think that he's that big, but trust me, they're so powerful. I always tell people, you know, some people think that, you know, maybe like a, a five or six foot alligator should easily be able to be wrangled by one person. But the truth is even RJ that's just a, climbing up on five foot is a handful. Now he's really awesome. So I never have to worry about him being mean, but he still likes to do his own thing, which can be a little bit exhausting. Has anyone ever skateboarded while holding a five foot alligator on YouTube? I think not, but I'm about to do it. have to try something different so guys I'm sure that there have been a lot of things done on YouTube but I'm here to tell you I think that's the first time an alligator has ever went skateboarding right RJ uh, <laughs> I got to spend some quality time with RJ did some skateboard with him and he's such a trooper I love him he is so amazing but time to put him back and let him get some rest because I just wore him out for the last half hour 45 minutes of playing around he is so awesome. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. Bye, RJ. Bye. I had such a good time yesterday doing that slow motion with the snake feeding. I have an idea. I've shot slow motion before with Karma the Chameleon, but today I'm going to try to get even a cooler shot of this little guy right here feeding. Look at him. Look at how gorgeous he's looking already. Like, what's up? What are you doing? <laughs> Let's see if we get an epic shot.
tell you what, I absolutely love that chameleon. And it's just, I don't know, what is the deal with that tongue? What? That is just the coolest way of eating, if you ask me. Uh, I think, I can't wait to actually watch the footage. I hope you guys are gonna like it. <laughs> that was so much fun. But I gotta wrap up here at the shop. I gotta drive about, uh, I don't know, about 200 miles, go enjoy my evening with my family. Well, not in the middle of the street, but still. In a snowy, slippery day. That's smart. Okay, so we are here. And this is actually pretty cool because my daughter and her fiance closed on a house and got engaged at the same exact time. And we're visiting the new house, so that's pretty awesome. JD, I'm nervous. Congratulations, Oh, Gina, so nice. Oh, look at that. There's my Miko. Whoop, how do you open this thing? There's Miko. So right now there's a far too serious 45 minute conversation about who's gonna be in the bridal party. So I extricated myself to come hang out with Miko a little bit. I'm actually gonna end the vlog here, which is ironically enough, tomorrow morning because I didn't finish the vlog last night. Things just got kind of crazy and we had a great time. So anyways, just up early and I'm heading back home today to go do some work, of course. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please remember to be kind to somebody and I'll see you guys tomorrow.